Hey, beautiful. Welcome back to Crafted Repetitions. I want to take the opportunity just to say thank you to all the new subscribers. The support's been fantastic. Thanks for your comments, your likes, everything it is very much appreciated, I can assure you. This here um, video is going to be different from normal because it's not going to be from start to finish. So it's not. I'm basically going to be um, doing things, that, the things that you've all seen before in different builds. I'm not, I'm not going to include in this here video, but there's so much new stuff going on on this here. Um, as far as like the windows are concerned and stuff like that, there are the, all the windows are Victorian surround. I thought they were Georgian, but the research I've done and shown that them to be um, more of the Victorian style, where like these here, you see there's templates I've cut out for them. Um, in each corner of the template, so there'll be um, a floral decoration. That's going to be interesting. I haven't really decided yet what way, whether I'm going to do them in moles or whether I'm going to carve them individually, but I've got a couple of ideas up the sleeve for that there. Might even do them with a molten lead. I'm not sure yet, so I'm not. But we'll see how it goes from there. On the back here, there's um auditorium. There's a uh, which is uh you can enter from the inside and the outside, so you can. And then round the back here is uh another big extension that's going on. So it has all the window sills have all been made. As you can see, they just uh they're just sitting in place for the moment. So they are. I just wanted to give you just an overview of. So when I'm doing the windows and doing other bits and pieces, you'll see what I'm doing. The uh, the, the video is going to be more of a tutorial of things like you know the doors, how I do the actual window frames, uh, stained glass is going into it. So it is uh, all the doors. You'll see how they are all done. This is going to be amazing. How this is going to be a separate video completely on this here because this is all glass the whole way around. So it is. It looks fantastic in real life, and I've got to get it as close to that there as possible. Um, if you want to come over and join me for a wee second here, um, I'll just show you what's going on inside. Now, all doors have to be cut out throughout here because these are all leading into different rooms. There's a wee bathroom back here, there's a storage room here for logs, etc. and for uh, changing. Um, again here, various different rooms. Uh, the inside's all been routed out. The, um, the panels have cut again. There's all doors got to go in these here panels, so there is. Um, at the minute, I've just got them in place to a half. That one there just needs to be just taken off the edge, but easy dealt with. You see, they slot in the where it's been routed out. And that's to give like a clean finish. So it is on the floors, as you can see. Some skirting boards and so on can go in. Um, again, there's no piece slots in here. This is where. They, where they've done the renovation and so on into the kitchen area. This wall here is gone. There's doors throughout. There's archways in the hallway. It's fantastic. So it is. Um, I think you're going to love this here one. I've got the roofs prepared, so I have. I'm not saying they're totally finished yet. There's going to be lead flashing up the back of, of here, so there is. Um, there's one here again, so there is for the back. And uh, that'll be going on as well whenever that there is put in place. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna throw the top on now for you just so as you can see the sort of the height and the shape because it is a beautiful piece of architecture this and I'm really enjoying working on it so far and thankfully um Ben's come back and I'm under no pressure because he he told me it'll be done when it's done. So that gives me time to stick my wee bit of um influence into the build as well. And this will sit on there. Round the outside here, you can see there's a trim on there at the minute. That's just to see what it looks like. But there's going to be trim the whole way round. So there is, as there is in the actual real building, to um to cover up the joints. Because this building, what will happen is, it'll be lifted. So it will, there'll be no, there'll, there'll be no way like a normal build where you can, a uh, normal um replica miniature where, you can maybe open a section and what have you. This is going to be detailed so it can be lifted off and looked into, just like so. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting in. There's arch windows at the back, so there is here, as you can see. Um, if I just turn around here, above the kitchen area, lovely arch window there as well. So there is, which is all stained glass. So I'm enjoying the fact that crack it. At the minute, everything's between a 1 and 12 and 1 and 18 scale. So it is what I'm working on in this one. But, uh, 
you know me some things might change as we go along and then i also spoke about this here before so i wanted just to show you me and my mate Stuart, we've got a bit of a competition going on we've both been donated um an old musket which has been decommissioned obviously so it has but um the the work on it it's it's just fantastic reckons from seven 1780 to about 1810 and in around that there are period there we just speed up a poor Trafalgar in the Peninsula Wars Stuart cut this out of walnut for me because traditionally this is what the um, stocks were made of so I'm going to be um, shaping that all down which will be interesting and with the sandblaster that I made we'll be cleaning up all the metal but there's um as you can see, there's a, a lot to it. There's designs throughout. This one here is covered in woodworm, so it is. But it's just so tactile. It's amazing. So I'm looking forward to getting into that as well. But the main concentration, I feel like a soldier now, but the main concentration is uh, the Tandra Key House. That is what my full effort is going to be getting into at the minute. So. Um, this video here is just going to be about the windows, how I made the windows, how I aroused them out, the all the beads down the sides, as you'll see. So, I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's helpful. If it's not helpful for doing a window build, it may be helpful for something else. But thanks again to everybody for joining us and uh, enjoy the video.
folks i'm gonna keep this to the end of the video nice way i am um uh just going to show you how the windows went in and stuff like that i got a coyote on do the whole lot now the whole way around um i don't think you'd be too interested in sitting watching me doing all that there now you've seen one now for those of you that um are wondering and uh getting a keen interest a keen interest in this here you can see that the windows have changed uh the simple reason for that there is because i put the session the wrong way around so it did i don't know if you can see it better from here um i put the sashes on the wrong way around so it did so they had to be changed to face this here way here the correct way um so lucky enough i caught that just when i just done the one and didn't go too much further than that there so what i'll do is i'll say i'll finish this off for now get this here pretty out and uh hope you join me for the next installment and if, if you stayed this long you gotta subscribe so you have haven't you <laughs> thanks very much see you later